Keep it moving show. Keep it moving show. I am the KIM, your host for the Keep It Moving Show. Keep it moving show. The Keep It Moving Show with your girl Kim. Compelling, informative, and inspiring. The Keep It Moving Show. I hope you're listening. The latest in news and entertainment. Now there's a, a stripper here, but the stripper has a daughter that is now in the spotlight with the Kardashians. And the latest in sports. 13 to 15 rebounds he had. That's actually what he did in Minnesota. And I was talking about the National Basketball Association, their decision to pull the All-Star game out of Charlotte, North Carolina. Hey people, Kim is on. Don't move. But I'm full black. I don't give a f- I got a black car and a black driveway and a black house and a black Neighborhood. You're absolutely right. We never received our 40 acres in the news. I was born black, I live black, and I'm going to die probably because I'm black. You black know, today we're going to do some black girls rock type black girls rock. 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 We're just having a conversation. We're just having a conversation. Hey, hey, don't touch that dial there, man. Leave it so now. Leave it so now. You ready? You better stop the things you do. I am K-I-M, K-I-M, K-I-M. I ain't lying. Keep, 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 keep their mind about what's going on in the world. <laughs> no, I ain't lying. Welcome to the Keep It Moving show. <laughs> yeah. What up? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are on the planet. Um, Welcome to the Keep It Moving show. Two, it's Monday. Me and Shaw are back. Um, well, Shaw, first things first. You see, I'm not rocking my, you know, I'm not rocking my long braids anymore. I didn't switched it up. I switched it up, but that's okay. Today, I'm rocking my um my hat because it's so such a bad hair day after those damn braids. <laughs> So we're going to talk about that in a sec. Um, Before we keep it moving to the Keep It Moving show, I want to shout out to my man, Sha, because he's celebrating his brand new year. Yeah. Happy Happy birthday, birthday Sha. Happy birthday, (laughs) Sha. Yeah. We're going to talk about that in a couple more minutes. Um, I'm going to play a song in a few minutes, in a couple minutes, that um, actually says how I'm feeling. Now, we're talking about Super so- Super Bowl Sunday was yesterday. It was. And normally, Super Bowl Sunday is a big day for a lot of people. Um, cause I for th- celebration. Yeah, cause of celebration. And when we come back, we're going to talk, when we go to the desk, rather, mm-hmm. we're going to talk about what the United States of America is trying to do for the day after Super Bowl Sunday. That should be a holiday, huh? Yeah, so we got some, we're going to talk <laughs> about that. So, um... It's the Keep It Moving show, too. Mm-hmm. And um, we're going to get down. We do have Chico Benjamin calling into the show today. Chico. We're going to try this again. We're going to try this again. And, um, you know, we're going to do some things. But either That's way, right. it's the Keep It Moving show, too. I want to shout out Facebook Live, as always, in the house. Um, if you guys want to check us out on screen, it's www.voxwave.com www.voxwav.com That's right. And um, I want to shout out to everybody out there in WWW land. It's the Keep It Moving show, so we keeping it moving. That's Me right. and Shaw. Keep it moving with your girl, the K-I-M. K-I-M. Ain't this what they've been waiting for? You ready? Uh, uh. I used to pray for times like this, to rhyme like this, so I had to grind like that, to shine like this. In a matter of time, I spent on some locked up shit in the back of the paddy wagon, cuffs locked on wrist. See my dreams unfold. 
nightmares come true It was time to marry the game And I said, yeah, I do If you want it, you gotta see it with a clear eye I'm acting like I know the words <laughs> Trying to bless me like I said, I chew Like Woo. a nigga sneeze Nigga, please, for them trick and squeeze I'm getting cream Never let them hoes get in between Or what we started Little nigga, but I'm lying hearted They love me when I was stuck And they hit it when I departed I go and get it regardless Draw like I'm an artist, no crawling, went straight to walk with the foreigns in my garages or foreign bitch menage. Fuck right. sucking the swallow and swallowing everything for a dollar. They tell me get him, I got him. Got him. Got him. I did it without an album. I did shit with Mariah. I did shit with Mariah. I did shit with Mariah. I did Low nigga, I'm on fire. Icy as a hockey ring, Philly nigga, I'm flyer. When I bought the Rolls Royce, they thought it was lease. Then I bought that new Ferrari, hey, to rest in peace. Hey, to rest in peace, rest in peace to the parking lot. Phantom so big, can't even fit in the parking spot. You ain't talking about my niggas, then what you talking about? Gangsta move in silence, nigga, and I don't talk a lot. I don't say a word. I don't say a word was on my grind and now I got what I deserve. Like Fuck nigga. nigga. Hold up, wait a minute. Y'all thought I was finished? When I bought the ass tomorrow, y'all thought it was Rennie? Flexing on these niggas, I'm like Papa on the spinach. Double M, yeah, that's my T Rose, the captain, I'm lieutenant, I'm the tight can of men casting, grind like I'm broke. That Lambo, my new bitch, she ride like my ghost. I'm riding around my city with my hands strapped on my toes. Cause these niggas want me dead, and I gotta make it back home. Cause my mama need that bill money, my son needs some milk. These niggas try to take my life, they fuck around, get killed. You fuck around, you fuck around, you fuck around, get slow. Cause these Philly niggas I bought with me don't fuck around, no joke. No, all I know is murder. When it come to me, I got young niggas that's rolling, I got niggas throwing bees. I didn't did the DOA, I didn't did the KODs. Every time I'm in that bitch, I get the throwing dirty jeans. But now I'm hanging out that drop head, I'm riding down no collars. They let my nigga earn back home, that young nigga be wildin'. We young niggas, we mobbin', like Batman and we're robbin'. This two door made back, with my seat on reclining, I'm like, real nigga, what up? Real nigga, what up? If you ain't about that murder game, then pussy nigga, shut up. If you dip me in your ass, I get your pussy ass stuck up. When you touch down in my hood, no, that toy life ain't good. Catch me down in MIA, and that heat game on wood. With that pull my life on my feet, like that little engine I could. Boy, I slide down in your block, back on 12 o'clock. And they be throwing deuces on the same nigga they watch. And I'm the king of my city, cause I'm still calling them shots. And these lanes talking that bullshit, the same niggas that flop. I'm the same nigga from first to the them that raised that lot The same nigga that came up and I had to wait for my spot And these niggas hating on me Hoes waiting on me Still on that hood shit, my Rolls Royce on He ain't gon' remember me I say remember me So much money, yeah, your friends turn to your enemies And when this beef I turn my enemies to memories We them bricks, they go for 40, ain't no ten to key Hold up, broke nigga turn rich Blood a game like Mitch And if I leave, you think dumb pretty hoes gon' still suck my dick It was something about that First touch my wrist, had me feeling like that dope boy when he first touched that brick. I'm gone. Go, go, go. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, that well, that song builds up so much. It's like man, in the beginning, mm -hmm. I'm sitting here. You, you know, you got the piano and stuff. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering if. Oh, sorry. That's all right. That's all right. <laughs> now you know when I do this, everybody, I got to say, does my mic sound nice? A check one. My mic sounds nice. A check two. <laughs> it's like, are you so, ready? Yeah, you know it, rock, rock, y'all. It's the yeah. Even Moving Show 2 right here on VoxWave.com. Me and Sha. What's up, what's up? in here. Sha plays this dopest, dopest hip-hop. Yep. And, um, so shout out to him for that. We're going to talk about Sha in a minute. <laughs> but starting off, the 2017 season, football season of the NFL has now... Uh, Ended? Yeah, it's ended. It's, it's been concluded. 
Uh -huh. We concluded with the Philadelphia Eagles taking home the Vince Lombardi Trophy. Everybody, shout out to everybody in Philly. In Philly, yep. The shout out the to Meek Mill. Yeah. I think Meek's still in jail. Yeah, I about right? to say he ain't home yet, is he? Nah, Meek Mill. Ain't and I, I think that's kind of why, you know, I will talk about that in a quick second. Mm -hmm. But shout out to the Philadelphia um, Eagles um, for winning their very first Super Bowl. That was their very first? first? Their very first Super Bowl. Oh, my Bowl. goodness. Yes, 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 congratulations yes, yes. to them. 52 years. It took y'all 52 <laughs> years. My goodness. But you won the Super Bowl. But you got Bowl. one. You got a ring. Hey, I, I, you know, I will say um, the reason why I, I don't like Philly, put it, I'm just going to say this for real. I don't like Philly. Mm -hmm. I'm not a Phillies fan. Mm. Because they're in the same but division. But you chose you chose them over the Patriots, right? No. Really? I didn't choose any team. I wanted them to tie. <laughs> it was I wanted them to tie. And they and almost did. It was I nice was to... gonna say it was almost a tie. So, <laughs> yeah. you know, shout out to Well they you know, did it, it was a good game. It was know. a great game. It a was great. an excellent game. And um before then, um I, I, I before then I shouted out my friends. Um, from both teams, my cousin Tisha, my friends Natalie, um, a couple other people I know are Philadelphia Eagle fans, and then my gr my girls Siki and TC, yeah. and um, and um, Tremaine Bird, the Birds, and everybody. They, was, they they came out, didn't they? They, they came <laughs> out. So shout out to the Patriots fans. Yeah. Shout out to the Eagles fans. It was a hell of a game. We're gonna talk about that in a second. But what I want to talk about first. Is Sha, can you pull yourself up on in the corner? Uh yeah, I can, I can try to work that out. Yeah, you can go ahead now. Well, I wanted to say happy birthday to my DJ slash engineer. Sha, come on yeah, over here so Facebook. <laughs> yeah. Yay! Happy What's birthday. Up, happy birthday What's to Sha. Yay! It's my birthday. It's his birthday. Right. Well, Sunday it was. It's the day after. Sunday. Oh. Super Bowl Sunday. Super Bowl Sunday was Shaw's birthday. So we saying happy birthday to Shaw. Shaw, how old did you? Can you tell us how old you are? Twenty five. He turned twenty five again. <laughs> <laughs> he said, "How dare I?" But Shaw. Um. So Shaw, you know, when you get a chance. I'm going to ask you a couple questions. This is sort of like an interview. You're going to interview me? I'm going to interview you, yeah, because, it's, well, you know, you're getting a lot of thumbs up because it's your birthday. <laughs> you know, and, and Sha and I are having a birthday treat. Just, so, it's birthday treat day. This is a little cherry soda. Little cherry. <laughs> little cherry wine from Nas and Amy, Na Amy Winehouse. There you go. Amy Smokehouse. Oh, they got Smokehouse or Winehouse? Winehouse. God bless the day. I love the wine. <laughs> hey, we got hearts and thumbs up. Shout out to Facebook Live. Wait a minute. Hold on. Okay, Tish the Eagles fan says, happy birthday. That's right. And yay, it's my Aunt Rita's birthday too. Oh, Woo! Yeah, oh, and it was also... My Aunt Rita's 50th anniversary with my Uncle D. 50 years. Go 50 ahead, man. years. Man, that's hey, what I want to say is, is happy love month. There you go. Happy love month. Valentine's is coming up. Happy love month. Happy Black History Month. Mm. Happy Shaw's birthday month and Aunt Rita's birthday. You know, usually I don't even celebrate my birthday like that. Why? You know. Uh, you know. I'm always working. I had to go to work this, uh, this Sunday. Angie, good morning. Good morning, Perry. Good morning, Kevin. Malik. Good morning. Good morning. I told you. I told you. I always feel like the lady from the romper room when I'm doing this. Oh yeah. Uh, I uh, see Lloyd. I see Malik. <laughs> and I see Gina too. Mr. I see Rogers Tisha, House. <laughs> I see Angie. Uh -huh. And I see you and you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, too much fun. <laughs> so Shaw, check this out. What's up? You turn 25 again. Yes, 25 again. Your birthday just happens to be in Black History Month. It is, it is. You're black. I am, I am. So how'd your birthday go? It turned out pretty good. Okay. You know, just, I still had to go to work, but the highlight of my birthday was I got to eat breakfast with my daughter. I okay. She, the uh, same daughter that fried chicken for yeah, you the last my, time? My only daughter. Okay, okay. My only, my okay. Only, 
And uh, we didn't get into too much of a tiff. You know, we always... Yeah, you yeah. always end up in a yeah, tiff. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I, at least I got to see her. And yeah. I, was, I was happy about that. Then uh, went to the store, bought myself something for me. Because usually I don't celebrate. I'm just always doing something. Okay, okay. But I said, let me do me today. You decided to celebrate you. I decided to celebrate me. And we we gotta don't do that, do that we, enough. We, we, that's what I'm saying. We well, wait a minute. Let me take that back. I do that a lot. <laughs> do you? I celebrate myself every chance how, I get. You know the the keys to, to keeping yourself sane and healed. Yes. You know that, but it's a process. It's a process. Ha- happiness is a, it's a process. Da- it's a daily process. Yeah. You have to make you have to make yourself happy every day. You see what I'm saying? Every and, day. Yeah. Now don't cross the line and get too narcissistic. You know or anything like that. <laughs> but, <laughs> well, I told myself, you know what I told myself? I, I was playing. Nobody took me up on it. Thank goodness. But I said, you know what? For my birthday, I'm gonna get everybody I love something. Just okay. to remind them that I, you know, just con- the concept was there. Okay. Yeah, everybody's like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> now you, so yeah. I take it you didn't do that. I got a few people some things. Okay. You know, and uh, and um, and told them I loved them. You know what I mean? Reminded them of that. Okay. Um, but I didn't get a lot of interactions during the day, mostly because I was running around. So, you know, you start to feel salty like nobody called me. And then I opened up Facebook. God bless Facebook. You know. Yeah. They, God bless <laughs> Facebook. God right? bless Facebook. First of all, they're not gonna let you forget your birthday. You no. Know, you're, you're getting older this year. You know. <laughs> right? But I got a lot of sweet comments and um and from people that I never thought I even. Hey, could, I don't think know. we're Facebook friends, or I would have known. We working on it. Sweet comments. We were. You know, I, I I don't let just anybody into my circle. Now I'm. One, you know what? <laughs> I'm just I'm, messing with you. I, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm glad I'm in your circle. You are. And, and 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 you made a comment earlier, and uh, you know you just gotta be careful uh, what you post and realize that yes. as you post, there's uh, you coworkers and people on there. Yeah, we all gonna act a fool. You know yeah. what I mean? <laughs> well, you know, people know I act a fool, so you see yeah. my stuff, and it's what it is. Well, it, well we know what we, what we see is what we get, so yeah. we know the depth of that, and we well, love it. Well, I'll tell you so. You just started a brand new year. Do you have any any goals for this year that you didn't that that may uh, supersede what you did last year? I, I think to continue with some of the stuff I was doing, being more independent, and uh, just striving to uh, uh, be the best of who I can be. All right, <laughs> all right. There you go. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Yeah. It's your birthday. It's your birthday. Yeah, yeah. It's your birthday. Hey, it's hey. your birthday. <laughs> I, you know what? I have a colleague that's exactly ten years older than me, and uh, she has a birth to the day. You know. Oh, okay. And she had forgot it was my birthday. Oh. Uh, well, our birthday. But the first we found out because I had called her about some business, and she was like, "Oh, and guess what?" I said, "Yeah, it's my birthday today." Guess what? She's like, "It's my birthday today." What are you talking about? You know. So, you know uh, what? That's how Roland and I found out that our birthday. Y'all, y'all share one too. Yes. Yeah, that's how we like, found out. He's like, "What are you doing?" You too, yeah. Well, I'm getting ready to go out and celebrate yeah, my birthday. Yeah, He's like, "When?" Yeah. I'm like, "Today." He's like, "It's my birthday." birthday. Like, right. what? <laughs> right. right. You know. Yeah, I love it. Though. I do. So I shout do. out to Bub. You know, we haven't seen Bub I in a long seen time. Him but in the shout out to Where is he at? I hope he's doing good wherever he is. I believe Roland is doing awesome. He's starting a new. Uh, sports entertainment um, network. That man's um, mind is always working. You know, always. <laughs> so shout out to Big Bub, and you know, the twin. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, it's what it is. Good morning, Taisha. Good morning, everybody. Facebook Live and WWW Land. It's the Keep It Moving show, too, right here on VoxWave.com. Today's show, we're talking Super Bowl. We're talking Black History Month. Um, we're also going to talk to Chico Benneman that's going to call into the studio. Um, we're going to work on this Skype thing, you know, in a minute. But he's going to call into the studio. He's going to tell us what's happening with mm, him. Okay. We're going to talk to him about Bounce TV, putting his show back on, um, mm. new music he has out. Um, we're going to talk about everything. And until then, we're going to keep it moving. We come back. We're going to start it up. It's going to be dope. Be funky. Yeah. You know yeah. Out. Tuesday. You know it's funky, 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 cause you heard it from here, see. A jam that you love that don't be getting no airplay. Strictly preferable when you're riding around. 12 o'clock at night with your windows down. Headlights blinking cause your battery 
the street, armor roll on your tires and a big gold chain. Parking outside on the hip hop spots. Push the EQ, play connect the dots. Leaning to the side, people everywhere. The trunk full of ants, ain't no room for a spare. Big beats bumping with the bass and back. All the sophisticated suckers catch a heart attack. Cause they don't understand why I act this way. Pumping up the funky beat until the break of day. It's because I want attention when I ride the bike. And the girl be on my job cause my system's fly. Girlies wanna ride with a brother like me Cause they be hear me getting funky frequently They tell me don't drink and drive I say what is this? Mind your business And pass it around Laid back, hypnotized by the funky sound People in the street see me bobbing my head While I'm checking out the rapper and the rhyme that he said I'm frontin' And I don't care if you know The backseat of my car is like a disco show You would think, think I was a big friend of Al Capone Crazy air freshener, who needs cologne? Bottom to the bottom, to the top, to the top Cruise It's three o'clock, the girl is a smile They see me coming, I'm steady humming I got that funky drummer drumming The trunk be shaking, vibrating and rattling Pumping so loud, all the shorties be battling A right hand man's here without the swing Every chance I get, I'm showing off my ring Keep it up until the break of dawn Cause I'm frontin' in my ride and my word is born Frontin', you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna do a karaoke on my show So I can feel the wind blow I don't give a damn if it cracks my back window C to the O to the O to the L to the I to the N to the F to the R to the O to the N to the T to the I to the N That means I'm chilling. Like booty G set, my seats are soft like a bed. They climb way, way back so I can get, get real cozy. cozy. I got the gangsta tapes in the place like a bass head from Sing. I want bass, I want a hit, I want a dose. You're rolling up smiling, but you can't come close. My system is pumping loud. Like Rock him say, I want to move the crowd. We're back to your source for news, entertainment, and hip hop. Keep it moving with your girl, Kim. Yeah, does my mic sound nice? Check one. <sighs> okay, welcome back to the Keep It Moving show too, right here on VoxWave.com. Um, if you want to check out my shows, you can check it out here. You can check it out Facebook Live. You can check it out YouTube. Soon as we finish with my channel, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but hey, check this out, right? It's a uh, um. Oh no. Oh no. Um oh no. Um what's going on with you? What are you thinking about the football? No, I just got a text message that really blew it kind of threw me off real quick and I don't like that. Um but anyway, it's the keep it moving show. We can go to commercial, you need No, 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 no. Don't you know no good? Don't you know no good? Hey, look, I know there's a, a Motown singer in in you somewhere. Yeah. I know. <laughs> no, no good. Yeah. <laughs> no, no good. They were doing yeah. it up back in the day. What happened to that class? <laughs> hey, Bree. Good morning. The, the singer, okay. The singers don't do it like that no more. No, they don't do it. But you know what? I think, I think that I was correct in having a karaoke moment on the keep it moving show so yeah. if anybody i think what we'll do is we'll have it like in middle of march yeah so if anybody wants invite to, some folk up come on I will. up yeah whoever wants to be on the keep it moving show karaoke monday um holla at me on my facebook page mm -hmm. or the youtube or something like that and then we could do a karaoke. Uh, you gotta give away. Keep it moving, you gotta give away a prize, and then you, you get. I'll a, give away a prize. <laughs> a free massage at your. Uh, ah. Uh, oh, all right. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I was a suggestion. This was the, okay, right. I'll tell you what. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna come up with a nice surprise. <laughs> That's what we're gonna do. And for anybody that wants to participate in <laughs> the Keep It Moving Show yeah. Karaoke Monday, yeah. holla at your girl, and then you know there we'll you see what kind of prize and stuff. We ain't gonna like tell that. you. That's right. We're gonna yeah. think about it later. <laughs> <laughs> also, hey guys, I want you guys to remember that. Um, Voxwave.com is having their annual coat drive. Um, it's and still we're cold. doing it. 
it's still cold. We're doing it for the needy. We're doing it mm -hmm. for the homeless. We're doing it for people that actually are in need of coats. So you bring it down to 4711 Off Road. It's right behind Red Lobster. Um, it's by Star Imports across the street from Passport, the other car place. And, um, you know, we'll do some things and we want to, you know, make sure that people stay cold because it's cold as hell mm -hmm. outside. It's mm -hmm. cold as hell outside today. That was ice. Like, were you driving last night? Did no. you? Thank goodness. They, no. They salt the Sundays, I don't leave the house yeah. unless it's very early in the morning. I do my house chores and yeah. stuff. I do my shopping and stuff. I come back in the house and... Oh, you that person on the road driving is slow? My house clean. My dinner is cooked by 11 a.m. And then I oh, wait, climb that's, back in the bed. That's your day of rest, right? That's my day, day of rest. Of collect the, yourself, my only day off. Do a little show prep. <laughs> I try, I try, because you notice, I did. you notice when I'm texting you, it's like yeah, yeah, I, yeah. four or five by the seat of your pants. <laughs> But that's all right, because I'll be doing the same thing. That's a good time to put out your disclaimer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'll tell you what. So, at this point, I'll tell you. Everything that's said here on the Keep It Moving show is factual. <laughs> However, I may not have done as much research as you would like for me to do. But that's not my. That's not on this me. This is not CNN. That's right. Yeah. This is not CNN, MSNBC, See, and damn sure ain't Fox, Fox News. Uh, no. But I'm going to tell you the truth, and then I'll give you enough for you to go and research it yourself. That's all we're trying to do. do your thing. Right. Yeah. That's all we're trying to do. Yeah, that's the disclaimer for the Keep It Moving show. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, yesterday was Super Bowl Sunday, the end of the 2016-17 um Football NFL season. Mm -hmm. Thank God. You ready I think it? it was the worst season <laughs> ever. Was that bad? The reason why I say that is because it started off under um, protests. It started oh. off under a lot of confusion and chaos. So you think they made less money this season? I than, think I damn sure think they made <laughs> less money this season than ever. Um, mm. I started off with well, everybody. Um, and if you guys remember, I mean, I wish we could. I wish we had it like this. One day we will, Sha. I'm, I'm, What's that? I'm just making it happen for our <coughs> show. But one day we'll be able to pull up a clip where, in the beginning, we were talking about boycotting people, boycotting um, the NFL season. And I said, I'm not boycotting NF the NFL season. I'm actually standing up with Kaepernick. So what I did was I sent money into Kaepernick. Um, to the Kaepernick organization yeah. because Kaepernick's thing was to raise a million dollars. Raise awareness. For, he wasn't saying stop to, watching right, the game. To raise awareness and to raise a million dollars so he could give 10 groups mm. that actually deals with police brutality and helping blacks. So yeah. 10 groups, $100,000 a piece. Right. He actually met that goal. And well, I was he? one of the people. He had to lose his job, job for it. He lost his job for it, yes, mm -hmm. but he did reach the goal. He gave a hundred thousand dollars to ten different um, charities that help that look you out think for if black. He, um, if um, he was more brutality. vocal, do you think he was vocal enough? Uh, because he he the action stood, and then everybody talked about it, but I didn't see him talking about it. No, a lot. I don't think he was vocal enough, but he had been vocal prior too. too. Remember the last year of the Obama administration is when they actually started this. Oh, okay. And so this year was a continuation on last year. Yeah. And so um, actually Kaepernick got it from Malcolm Jenkins from the um, Super Bowl winning champions, um, Eagles? Philadelphia Eagles. Mm. Malcolm Jenkins was the one who actually started this kneeling um, for against police brutality yeah. and to stand up for black men and, and black girls that's getting killed in the streets. Um, so... Um, shout out to Malcolm Jenkins, first of all, um, for raising the awareness, even after Absolutely. Kaepernick became the face of it. Yeah. And um, so shout out to Malcolm Jenkins for doing his thing. And Malcolm Jenkins also was not happy with um, the settlement that the, player, the Players Association and the NFL had as far as this kneeling and, and stuff so, is concerned. Yeah, I mean, what did they settle on? Um, they were going to do, I, I, I don't know exactly, and maybe oh, somebody out there, like they're going to get, yeah, they're going to do more outreach, um, into the Like they do with the cancer, uh, But they already do that. They well, do that's that. What they, they're good at. That's what they, they, the black men in the league are already good at going back into the communities and doing different things. Um, 
But I guess the NFL wants to step up a little more. I don't know how this goes, but I know Malcolm Jenkins wasn't happy about it. Let me see what um, Facebook Live has to say. Um, let me see. Um, NFL chartered $5 million for a 30-second commercial. Okay. Okay. Um, what's up, Button? <laughs> no, that's not. So first of all, they got ripped off. Who, the oh, 30 seconds? Oh, now Bree wants to do Poetry Monday. I like that, little sis. And you know what? You would be the perfect person to have on the Keep It Moving show. So we're going to make that happen. Um, um, I'm not exactly sure what the NFL, what the conclusions were they came to, but I know Malcolm Jenkins basically said that, that wasn't, wasn't enough. Yeah, that wasn't enough. And um, But, you know... I mean, it's still controversial even to uh, use your. Is it is it okay to use that platform? I think it's okay. I mean, we're, so, we're talking. So could you go to your job? Well, you're, you're a little independent, but uh, you know, but could somebody I, could go to their job and be hey, like, I want to protest. But you know what? And I'm, I'm gonna make this really quick. Mm -hmm. Um, you ask me what I go on my job and say, well, I want to protest uh, Look, the Me Too movement. Let me tell you. At my job, and granted, I'm a massage therapist, I and I don't have a job. I work for myself. So, yeah, yeah. Um, but you know, but when I was working for yes. other, um, 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 you weren't spas, always that. I I worked yeah. actually for the top name spa. Oh wow! In the country. Right. I, you just can't walk in there with a protest and a dashiki. I walked in the Did you? top. I worked in the top name spas here in Washington D.C. Mm. I was actually I taught a lot of the massage therapists, how to do the body treatments, all the oh, stuff wow. that people are getting done now. I yeah. taught the people, the, the train, I taught the um, technicians how to do this stuff. Oh, that's like a Kung Fu yeah, style I, or I, something. I've, I've you know been in this. I'm right. telling you, I'm an OG. <laughs> they call right. me OG, yeah. OG K-I-M. That's what they call study me. Study at the temple, <laughs> right. Uh, I ain't right. Wrong that. So what ends up happening was yeah. um, I was not happy with the way we were getting paid. And it seemed like yeah, um, yeah. at a couple of the places, it seemed like um, our tips were being lifted. Ooh. And because I am, I have always been militant. Ask yeah. my mama. <laughs> I have always been a militant You spoke up, didn't kid. you? I said, I think what I'll do is I'll put together a... a um, I don't want to call it a union, but for lack of a better word, a union. And I'm going to find out where our tips are going. Really? And That's a big step. And I, I couldn't help it. I hope you wasn't it. in a right-to-work state. Cause, I can't know. help it. Maryland is a right-to-work state. They can fire you at <laughs> yeah, any time. Yeah, at time. That's... And I can't help it, though. Because people were talking about, hey, I know I did a great service on this lady. This lady said, blah, blah, blah. I know she left me a tip. Yeah. And then I go to where my tips are handed out and there's no tip from her. Right. Make and you want to so, call the customer back and ask. Exactly. <laughs> and so what I did was I put everything together and I did walked up to the management and I'm like, listen, we're missing tips. And I think... And I think, and we should, and I said. Now, how was that received? I, well. You decided. To, that's the day you decided. They pretended like yeah. everything was all good. Yeah. Um, with one of them, I ended up resigning myself because my head was so big that I thought that all of my clients maybe, would follow me. Well, maybe it was time to go independent. It was time. Yeah. Um, some of my clients followed me, but the ones that needed to be in Chevy Chase yeah, stayed and, there. Yeah. And then I went to another big time spa. I did the same thing. Oh. And they said, um, you know, Miss Kim, um, I think we no longer need your services. Yeah. And I said, <laughs> like Jazzy Jeff and Fresh Prince. Right. Right, right, right. I'm out of here. I have been fired yeah, from better, better places. places. Right. That's just, that's now, granted, it. I have been. I've been yeah. fired like maybe 20 times <laughs> in my life. I don't care. I yeah, just but you don't want to get blackballed now. But the, the important thing I'm is... I'm already that, black. There you go. You know what? Because you spoke truth to power. Yes. And you, you said, you told yourself, I'm going to go independent. Well, um, by the time I'd left... Chevy Chase and gone over to the other place. By the time they fired me, I was already doing the first Keep It Moving show 
and I was already yeah. starting to work on my own clients anyway. And looking so back, it's it, probably a better decision. That it, it totally was. I mean, yeah. the only thing that wasn't good by it is that people should realize that when you are starting a business on your own, you have to be even more disciplined than if you were working for someone else. I know. You have to be more disciplined uh, on that. So, um, You're still in your own tips. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> so um either way, you know, it's what it is. Um when we come back, we're gonna go, we're gonna play some music real quick. We come back, we're gonna talk about um some Mo stuff. Not President Pussy Hands anymore. I'm so tired of him. You can't I'm help done. but talk about the dumb stuff that man does. I'm done. Yeah. Oh, Diddy, I'm going to talk about it. Dag nabbit. I started talking about myself and I forgot about the rest of the Super Bowl. <laughs> Sorry. PSP was making it seem. People always say, what the hell does that mean? For the people who can't understand, a one home boy became a man. As for the way you shout, one by one, I'm knocking out. Hey, for the way my DJ play, other MCs when you ain't saying that. Rocking the one to the break of dawn. Hey, is this good to you? Is this too much? I think they do. Uh, no. <laughs> right. <laughs> Pierce King was making that green. People don't say what, what the hell is that mean? People, the people who can't understand. A one whole boy became a man. Now at um, as for the way you shout, I'm not gonna hit up uh, Gianni. Yeah. Came for the way my DJ cut. Your girl, Kim. 
Welcome back to the Keep It Moving show. Um, 12.15 Eastern Time. We got Chico Benjamin calling in to talk about what's good out there in L.A. Mm -hmm. I want to shout out to um, Facebook Live. Sister Aisha, Sister Aisha Black Power Jackson is on. My cousin Aisha Kick Ass Slaughter is on. <laughs> My sister Regina, I wish you would, is on. Man, everybody is on. Yeah, I want to shout out blood. to everybody. Connecticut, New York is in the house. Virginia, D.C. is in the house. What's Atlanta's up? in the house. Sean Brown is in the Anybody house. Anybody from Jersey? You got Jersey in there? Jersey, I think, is in the house. Jersey is mm -hmm. in the house. What up, T.C.? Uh -huh. Also, what up to my man, Lloyd? Um, Lloyd Houston is C.T. So it's the Keep It Moving show. We're back. Facebook Live is in full effect, as they always are. What up to my man, B? What up, Rich Butler? Um, hope you're having a great day. We were talking about Super Bowl 52. Mm -hmm. It was an awesome game. Over a 1,000 yards offense. What, did, do you know how many people watched it? No. It was it was it? I think it was well received. You know what I mean? A lot of people. You know, I think because it was Sunday and it was no... raining. <laughs> well, it wasn't raining all over the country, but yeah. I think it was Sunday. Everybody was kind of chilled out. Yeah. And I think, um, you mm -hmm. know, because President Pussy Hands was kind of daring people to kneel again. Yeah. He was kind of daring them. He, he and I, I see that it. a lot of people basically just um, ignored him. I don't know mm -hmm. if they if anybody kneeled or not because they really didn't show that. I think that maybe that movement has passed now. You think? I think kind of it has. Yeah. Um, it raised I, money. I hope I, I what I hope doesn't happen though is people forget. Right. Because although they may not be kneeling, mm -hmm. the bottom line is there is still a lot of police police brutality out there. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of um, systemic racism out there. Yeah. And so yeah. the the um, the reason behind the protest has not changed. Even though they may not be protesting like they were, the reason behind the protest has not changed. So we still must keep it moving and, and protest. Black power? Yes, yes, ma'am. It made Black a difference. Power. That's right. So um, also coming up um, um, this spring is the 10,000... Man March, um, given by um, um, uh, Dr. Malik um, Zulu Shabazz, um, oh, for the Black minute. Power yeah. Movement. 10,000 men. 10,000 men. Why not 999? <laughs> I mean, you who know what knows? I mean? I mean, if you don't show up, it's going to be 999. <laughs> you know what? I, 9, I, missed, I missed the first. But all right, first you gotta give us some background with this. I did miss the first march, the the first Million Man March. You remember okay, that? Did okay. you? Did, were, 1996. That was the year I yeah, moved to Washington D.C. Yeah, so you were here. You were here. Did you go? It was during. The, no, I did there. not hey. because Farrakhan asked us not to go. Did he? He said that. Farrakhan asked the women to stay home. I know some women were there. Yeah, hard headed. <laughs> right. Because Farrakhan asked us to stay home, and I understood that. Because y'all would have distracted so us. We were so trying to... did I, mm -hmm. which was why I didn't show. I didn't go. Right, right, right. And so... I didn't um, realize how important it was at the time when I, I kind of... I was I was at school at Hampton uh, University at the time, okay. but some friends... The other uh, HU? The other HU, okay. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and uh, some friends went, I always regretted not hopping in that car and going, you know, just being lazy about it. Yeah. You know, but I didn't realize that it was going to be a sub subsequent chances to do the 10,000 men march and stuff like that. Yeah, I think, um, come on, phone, really? Okay, so what? Is, is he part of the nation, too, uh, Shabazz? He was, was part of the nation, and remember I spoke last um, last time about um, Khalid, Dr. Khalid Muhammad, yeah. who um, died of a brain aneurysm, yeah. and um, uh, Khalid, Ma I mean, um, Malik Zulu Shabazz um, followed him. He was he was oh, okay. a follower of his, yeah. So, um, you know, hey, as long as they're all pulling in the same direction. Yeah, I mean, basically, it's for the upliftment of the black community. I'm for that. And I don't care so, what you call yourself. Yeah, and, and they feel that they still need to talk to the black men. And they do. They, they need do. To talk it. to black men. In fact, I, I mean, a lot of these black men there. wouldn't have no discipline if it wasn't for certain organizations like right. those that went into the hoods right. and the jails 
and places like that. You're right. You're right. And so since that's what I deal with every day, people that come from um, people that um, were incarcerated, incarcerated. Um, yeah. homeless, drug addicted, and mentally challenged, and we're inviting everybody to come out, um, I will get the date, the exact date to you. She's online. Okay. Um, let me see. Uh, Aisha, can you give us, please, the date of when um, this is, please? I appreciate it. Um, and she also says she defied the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan. <laughs> she came out. And huh? went to the Million <laughs> Man this. March. You ain't going to have no million Negroes in my place. <laughs> but let me tell you, this sister Aisha, she's no joke. And so yeah. if she went... More than likely, she was either asked to come mm -hmm. or... Um, Somebody need to drive the car, yeah. you know. <laughs> hey, hey, she, she's the getaway driver. Getaway driver. <laughs> Black yeah. power. Um, also, let me um, talk about this um, real quick. The government is trying to see if it would be good to um, have a federal... Monday, the Monday after Super Bowl, to be a federal holiday. What do you think? I mean, if you want to talk about federal holidays, I would throw some, you know, Harry Tubman's in there first before we start. Before the day after the Super Bowl? Super Bowl, you know. Well, you know, I didn't even think about that. I had never thought about it until the Cowboys were in, in the Super Bowl. And I then mean, I was like, so hey, we need the day after that off. I, I was, okay, so I was listening to the coverage of the Super Bowl from the BBC perspective. And the announcer kept saying, it's the biggest day, or at least to the Americans. So it, it helped me understand that it, it's a big deal to yeah. a lot of people, especially in America. Federal holiday worthy? Yeah, I'm not so sure. Um, I will take any day that okay. they give me. Yeah, and still get paid? Yeah, yes. Yeah, I, I'll I, take any day. But so see, I'm not, that, I'm not, that actually doesn't um, apply to me, though. As a contractor, I don't get paid on federal holidays. There you go. So it doesn't matter to me or not. Um, yeah. And federal holidays are usually good days for my industry because people come in to get massages there you on go. federal holidays. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't make the difference to me. It, Either way, I'm it, making money. It might be good for business, you know, uh, of some sort for people to, uh, like you said, if they're off on that day, and then they can go out and spend their coin and shop. Yeah. And you know there's going to be a sale somewhere. You're right. 50% <laughs> <50 laughs> off. Well, um, oh, let me just say, um, Sister Aisha said the 10,000 man um, March and all of its um, entities starts on April 18th, and we'll have more about that when she and Sister Amy um, come to the come back to the Keep It Moving. They, they're gonna be on the show. Yes, okay. yes, they're gonna come back to the Super Bowl. Now, um, let me just say again, I spoke about the Super Bowl and we talked about how it was over a thousand yards um, um, uh, offense. Mm. Brady had like 500 and something yards in the air, and Nick Foles had. 400 and 400 plus yards okay. in the air. I yeah. mean, I'm telling you, if you didn't see the game, you really miss it. It was probably the best played game ever. Oh, Only my one goodness. penalty the whole game, one sack, one turnover, and, and oh, that was by man. Brady. I'm Brady go back did and the sack that. and the turnover. Yeah. Oh, it was I, just, yeah. I didn't get to see it because I had oh, to work. Oh man, Eight, it was only one punt, and that was the Philadelphia Eagles. Um, mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. it was plenty of missed um, field goals and missed um, two point two point plays, and so yeah. Because when I checked in, the Patriots were ahead. You know, I just they were it only on ahead at one point in the game, and it was very brief. Yeah, that must have been the point I checked in. I was yeah, like, it was very. And I was brief. like, okay, the Patriots. Philly won't be led the entire game. Um, it was. So what it, happened? Were they just outplayed, outcoached? Um, they Philly, in your opinion, Philly in, in just your... has more of a high power offense. Okay, okay. Because the defense, you can't really say the defense weren't playing. The defense played the hell out of it, but the offensive line was for both teams were also very good. Yeah, and that's what made the difference. It was a awesome game. Like I mm. said, I you don't really see too many games that um that doesn't have penalties, flags thrown all over the place. Um, yeah. You don't see too many games where there are no sacks, uh, no footballs. turnovers. Yeah. <laughs> and so and in this case, it was a very well-played game. Just good old-fashioned American football. Of course, football. everybody thought Tom Brady was going to come back and win it because that's what Tom Brady that's what does. Do. That's what he does. But he couldn't come back. Maybe. He had a couple minutes to come back, and 
that's when the sack appeared. That's when a fumble appeared, mm -mm -mm. and and you know the game that. was over. So, shout yeah. out! I mean, shout that's out way, to yeah, them. That actually, to me, that's how the game. That's how the season should end. Mm -hmm. With a perfect game, with two of the best teams, two of the best teams with the best records. Yeah, yeah. they showed out. All of them. Um, it was in Minneapolis, the home of Prince. Oh yeah, the late yeah. Prince. How was the halftime show? Did you? I didn't watch it. I told you I was <laughs> not going to watch Justin Timberlake. <laughs> I heard it was a good show. Yeah, and I, mean, I yeah, heard he, let, let. I heard he played um, paid tribute to Prince. Yeah. Um, I heard um, during Prince. the halftime show the city of Minneapolis was lit up purple. Mm, mm, mm. Um, everybody misses Prince. I'm sure my sister Regina was crying. Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty that sure she that was, was on beautiful. the floor. Balling like, like, <laughs> like he just died. Yeah, right. Does she know him personally? <laughs> she thinks she did. Well, know you know him what? Personally. When you grow up with uh, these celebrities, let me tell you, my sister Regina had a poster on the wall where she was. No, she it, not it, had <laughs> one poster. She had every poster what? Prince ever had, no. and every time he cut his hair, yeah. she cut her hair. Uh, <laughs> every time he wore you know something, <laughs> she changed her style. Uh, my, I'm gonna tell is she you, on my, Facebook with you, Daddy? My sister kind of looks like Prince. <laughs> you telling her. You she's not her. light skin though. She's she's brown skin, but she looks. No, like we Prince. we have one in the crew like that too. Yeah, she Nigga looks like look just like Prince. Yeah, you look like Prince. You know yeah, that? Yeah, you look Shut at her. Up, you're, you look at her. You're hypnotized because yeah. she looks like Prince. <laughs> yeah. So, um, you Shout know what? It is. I'm gonna talk about this, and then we're gonna go um to a commercial break. But check this out. Uh, Busta Rhymes. This was my favorite commercial. I love me oh, some Busta big, Rhymes. Yeah. I love me some Busta Rhymes. You know he's getting fat now. You didn't see him. You know what? I'm going to tell you a story hey, you know, about Busta Rhymes. What's that? But it's getting close to the call-in time. We're going to talk about it, though. But my favorite commercial of the of the Super Bowl was when Busta Rhymes and the, the little person from Game oh, of Thrones. Oh, yeah. The I had to watch that a couple times. Yeah. <laughs> 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 the little person from Busta Rhymes. I mean, the little person was doing the Busta Rhymes from um, Chris Brown's, um, uh, what's that song by Chris Brown? I love oh. that song. Oh, That's my oh. favorite Chris Brown song. I can't remember um, what song it was, um, but Busta had that I'm break. I'm getting paid for, look mm. at me now. Oh, <laughs> look at me now. Oh. I did and like then, that. so that one was for Doritos Fire. And then the very next commercial, Morgan Freeman was doing Missy Missy Elliott, Get Your Freak On. I didn't see and that. that was for, for Sprite Ice. So it was Doritos and Sprite Fire and Ice. It was so dope. If you guys hadn't seen the commercials, you go online and find Missy Elliott and Morgan Freeman and Busta Rhymes and the little guy. And you know, um, money they had to you're going to find that. something that's so dope. <laughs> That, uh, but you know what? You see how hip hop creeps into every aspect. It does. Oh, big guy broke off for that too. I'm pretty Missy. sure they did. But Buster and Missy, I'm yeah. look. First of all, they're business. They're businessmen. Yeah. Especially yeah. Missy Elliott. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. no, they probably got a mill. I heard she was uh, making a comeback, doing some new stuff. You know what? Let's talk about that when we come back. <laughs> it's the Keep It Moving Show. Mm. I'll be right back. <laughs> Shine, yeah. Tuck on my diamonds. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fuck the attention, Lord, 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 Lord. Falan, the genius. Fuck with me though, yeah. Tuck on my diamonds. Fuck the attention. Fuck with the bitches. Fuck with no effort. Just hit the projects. The holler and check. Just hit up poppy. Say I'm on the one. I'm on the run, hey, I'm on the run, you know my picture, don't know what I've been through, say I'm on the run, say I'm on the run, niggas don't know you, if they did, they forget you, Just grew up in the county, uh, born in the district, uh, all ass around me, uh, lovers and killers, uh, I got my deal, I promised I will keep it real up. Cause real know the real, my nigga, you not too familiar Me, I'm a Falaro, don't know your problem uh, Good San Lerano, uh, all up from Pisces Got yeah. too solid, yeah. squad too savage yeah. Outside we working, yeah. inside we plotting Say 
money, I'm on the one up. FaceTime with your woman. She Puerto Rican, but she speak in Brooklyn. Mira, mami, tranquila. Mira, mami, tranquila. Meet up, then kick your feet up. Relájate conmigo, yeah. Talk on my diamonds. Fuck the attention. Fuck with the bitches. Fuck with no effort. Just hit the projects. The holler and check it. Just set up poppy. Tell ya I'm on no bueno. Tell ya I'm on no bueno. Tell ya I'm on no bueno. You know my picture. Don't know what I've been through. Tell ya I'm on no bueno. Tell ya I'm on no bueno. Niggas don't know you. Let's go. They 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 Cancela tu plan, que la noche es nuestra Y si es ella me inventa, le un perro Entre tú y yo sabes que soy primero Que tú eres mi mujer, así tengas un mes Él lo tiene que saberlo, no va a saberlo Ponte Keep it moving with you, girl, the K.I.M. Modérame de una vez Me excita Y vuelve a mí, you on fire, mami Talk on my diamonds. Fuck the attention. Fuck with the bitches. Fuck with no effort. Just hit the projects. The holler and check it. Just set up poppy. Say I'm on the bueno. Say I'm on no. Hello. Hey, girl. Oh, what's wrong? Girl, I just went to a major dealership and got ripped off on a luxury car. Ugh. Well, I just got a great deal on a luxury car at Star Imports in Camp Springs, Maryland. They took their time with me, treated me with respect, and helped me find a perfect car. Hey, DMV, looking for a unique car buying experience? Tired of high-pressure sales? Good news at Star Imports. You'll be delighted with our boutique-style car buying experience. We're committed to treating you with the utmost respect, even if you have less than perfect Perfect credit. Check out our impressive selection of pre-owned BMWs, Mercedes-Benz, Lexus, Jaguars, and other imports starting at $5,988. For fast online guaranteed credit approvals, go to starimports.com. That's S-T-A-R-R-I-M-P-O-R-T-S dot com. Or call 301-423-8000. Star Imports, home of the boutique-style car buying experience. Located in Camp Springs, Maryland. Off exit 7B off the Beltway. Next to Red Lobster.